A big shout out to Altium PCB designer for making this video possible. Hey guys, are you interested in creating amazing robots using Arduino? Well, you are in the right place. In this video, I will be showing you how you can use Arduino to make your own robots. I will be explaining everything in simple terms so that it will be easy for you to understand and start making your own robots. As you know, Arduino is an easy to learn platform which can be used to create amazing projects like robotics as well as home automation. It's a simple microcontroller that you can use to control motors and process data from sensors. Arduino has many uses, but it is mainly used in DIY projects because of its simplicity and easy to use interface. Before going further, let's take a look at what robot is and what are the different parts of the robot. A robot is an electromechanical device that will sense its environment, process it and makes a decision by itself and react to its environment without manual intervention. What are the different parts of the robot? Robots have a body. A body with enough space for all the things in the robot. And it can carry the weight of all the components like sensors, power source and all the cables in it. Then robots have sensors, right? Sensors are devices that sense the outside world. They can detect things like property, events or changes in the environment. Then robots have actuators that will help the robot move or do an output action. For example, motors. Then we have a power source that will power up the entire robots. All the components, sensors, motors, microcontrollers, everything that requires power. So let me ask you a question. Why do we need data from sensors? So that we can process it and do an output work, right? For example, consider a line follower robot which will detect the line using IR sensors and turn on and off the motors depending on the sensor readings which will drive the robot along the line or consider an automatic plant watering system, which will turn on the water pump when the moisture sensor detects the soil is dry. So the next question is, how do we turn on and off the motors or the pump depending on the sensor readings? For that, we will need a processing unit that will process the information and make the decision. That's where Arduino comes to play. Let's see how we do that using Arduino. First, what is Arduino? Let me try to explain it in simple English. Arduino is simply a platform that will enable creators like us to create amazing electronics projects using simple coding techniques. But why is Arduino a platform? Because Arduino is not just a microcontroller board. Arduino comprises of three things. There is the physical board that uses the microcontroller called the Arduino board. There is the Arduino development environment called the Arduino IDE. And then there is the code itself called an Arduino sketch which gets loaded into Arduino board. Those are the three components that basically make up what Arduino is. Arduino is open source. That means everything you need to make an Arduino, for example, the circuit diagram, the PCB files, all the codes are out there in the internet for free. You can either buy Arduino board from online market or if you want, you can design and create your own fully functional Arduino boards within minutes. You can use breadboard to create your own Arduino or make a custom PCB as I did in the previous video. In one of our previous videos, I showed you how you can create your own Arduino boards, remember? I used Altium Designer to create my Arduino. Speaking of Altium, it's a powerful tool that can be used to design and create your own PCBs for your project as well as complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. I have been using Altium Designer for the past 3 years and let me tell you guys, this is the best PCB designing tool I have ever used. If you are an electronics engineer, this is going to be really useful for you. There are so many advanced features that enables us to create complex PCBs within minutes. I will leave the link to Altium trial version in the description. Make sure you try it. Also, there is a stunning 30% discount for everyone who will be buying from the link below. So do make use of it. You will find a lot of PCB projects tutorials that we have done using Altium in our channel. How does Arduino work? Now let's consider input and outputs of a robot. For inputs, you can think of sensors like temperature sensor, light sensor, touch sensor, flex sensor, humidity sensor, infrared sensor, distance sensors, and all those type of sensors can be read by this Arduino board. Now, output would be things like motors, DC motors, servo motors, stepper motors, solenoids, LCD displays, LED indicator lights, speakers, and electrical stuff that will do some type of action in the world. Using Arduino, we'll be coordinating the input and the output. For example, in Arduino, we will write a condition like if we get A as sensor reading, then do B as output. For example, 
Let's connect a photo diode to one pin of the Arduino and an LED to another pin of Arduino. We can read the value of ambient light using the photo diode and write a condition to turn on LED when the ambient light is low. That is what we do with Arduino. Now, there are so many microcontrollers out there that can do all this stuff. But why Arduino? You know, microcontrollers have been quite difficult to use. One user guide is often over 300 pages long and it's jam-packed with technical lingo. But what Arduino designers did was make the usage of microcontrollers as simple as possible. So rather than just electrical and electronics engineers and computer scientists using microcontrollers, anybody can do it now and start creating amazing things. To upload the code, you can simply connect your Arduino board to your computer using simple USB cable and not like some specialized cable that would normally take to connect a microcontroller. Connecting modules like sensors, motors and other devices to the microcontroller is very easy using Arduino board as they have these plastic holes and pins all around the board. They are called headers and connecting an electrical component to the microcontroller is as simple as inserting it into one of these holes. The Arduino IDE is also designed to be simple to use. It's just a straightforward window where you enter the code. To upload the code you have written in the Arduino IDE, all you have to do is just push a button. Finally, the Arduino program contains functions that are dedicated to tasks such as reading inputs and turning outputs on and off. Now, check out the next video where we actually build a simple robot using Arduino. If you are a fan of robotics, home automation and other fun DIY projects using Arduino as well as Raspberry Pi, make sure you check out our channel. You're gonna love it. We have a lot of tutorials explained in simple English. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you check out our channel and subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button below.